Hey guys, Mike the Gaming Dad here, and welcome back to the channel. So last month I reviewed the first round of creations mods that had been added. So I did five videos covering six of the seven mods that were released. Um, the only one I didn't do was the new armor um, set. So we actually have two more that have been added last week. Um, so as you see here in the right hand corner uh, under Skyrim updates it says we have two mods Echoes of the Veil and Morthal. So yeah this is going to be a review of the first of those mods so yeah let's go into creations and take a look. So what I'm going to do is let's just go into the uh, category list and I'm going to go under verified creators because I think this is where everything will be held. So yes here we are so we've got Echoes of the Veil vale here and we have Morthal here. So yeah as you can see the uh, Echoes of the Veil vale costs 800 credits and Morthal costs 200 credits so combined 1000 which if you bought the 1000 creation uh, club points pack I think that works out at about 9 nine pounds or 9 I don't know what the conversion rate is 9 dollars but yeah um, normally it's a one to one ratio but yeah if you wanted both of them you could you get a pound saving basically so um, I'm not going to talk too much about Morthal because uh, I'll do that in another video um, I imagine that one will be a bit shorter um, what we're going to do in this video is review Echoes of the Veil vale. and this one is actually really interesting because this mod provides a expansion of probably one of my favourite locations in the entire game and that is the Hidden Veil vale. So uh, yeah, let's have a quick read what uh, yeah this mod is about. So have you ever wished that there was more of the Forgotten Veil vale to, to explore? Now there is. This creation nearly doubles the size of the Forgotten Veil vale by adding new dungeons and landscapes that are lore friendly and visually similar to the base game. Most importantly, it elevates the Forgotten Veil vale from a linear quest based experience into a larger world all of its own. A new player home, Initiates Rests, serves as a base camp from which you can discover the wonders of this lost world. By liberating the Forgotten Veil vale from the Dawn Guard questline, this creation aims to make it a place that the player can enter and return to when and how they choose in order to maximise compatibility and immersion. This creation does not alter existing quests, character and locations of the Forgotten Veil. Vale. No new quests, voiced characters or scripts have been added. Instead, players are encouraged to venture off the beaten path and explore these new areas organically, seeking adventure as they see fit. So features. Access the Forgotten Veil vale via Darkfall Cave without needing to start the Dawnguard quest line. Now that's really interesting because, as I say, I love this uh, area of the map. I think it's Dawnguard's a fantastic um, addition. But my only gripe with it is, in order to unlock the Forgotten Veil, vale, you've got to get to right to the very end. So I think it's the mod... Uh, not the mod, sorry. It's Touching the Sky, isn't it, I think, which you've got to start in order to get access. And that is like... The second to last quest i think so yeah it's yeah you've got a good few hours of gameplay to get through before you can actually get to this so the fact that they've m ensured that you can come straight into the forgotten veil vale without needing to start the dawn guard quest line is, is a, a really good addition i think uh, so yeah we've also got claim a unique player home campsite initiates rest complete with all the usual amenities um, so yeah we'll definitely be checking that out Explore 23 new areas throughout the Forgotten Veil vale for the player to explore, including standalone dungeons and exterior landscapes. So that's interesting. So when I first read 23, I thought, is this just 23 map markers? But if it, if some of those are dungeons as well, then there could be quite a lot of new content here. But yeah, as I say, I've not, I've not explored this yet, so I don't actually know what those are. But it does sound interesting that they've, sounds, it seems like there's a mixture of things here. Um, discover new weapons and armor to wield against powerful foes, um, so that should be interesting. 
um, and then starting your journey if you have not started the dawn guard quest line or the quest touching the sky simply travel to darkfall cave north of marketh within it you will find a new passageway to the right of gelibor's way shrine that will lead you to darkfall delve this new area will allow you to access the forgotten veil and darkfall passage directly without gelibor's help while you are free to explore these areas in their entirety, both the Inner Sanctum and the Way Shrines will remain closed until you are ready to start touching the sky. Okay, so that actually makes sense. If you have started or completed touching the sky, then the passageway to Darkfall Delve will be close to you and you must follow the Initiate's path to the Forgotten Veil throughout the Way Shrine. Through the Way Shrine, sorry, that Gelibor opens. And then, yeah, there's a bit about compatibility there and about if, I think, certain mods and stuff may... Uh, yeah, may conflict with this so yeah this sounds really interesting i think what i'm going to do is i'll load a save up which hasn't started this quest so we'll go through darkfall delve um because i think it'll be interesting to see to see what that looks like um, and then yeah we've got a gallery of images so this i'm assuming is initiates rest the home this looks like a a falma infested cave potentially so that's potentially one of the new dungeons that you get to explore yeah some uh looks like more falma there i can see in the distance on that uh somewhere in there oh so we've got are those oh those are those what are they called i can't think of the name now yeah, like the spirits. Uh, Wisp Mothers, I think they're called, aren't they? Looks like we've got a giant cave there. One of the frost giants. Oh, interesting. Oh, I'm wondering, actually. I wonder if it's going to introduce new ingredients and things. Or it, doesn't, it didn't say it did. Maybe it won't, but I don't recognise that flora. Well, that's uh, that's quite creepy. The spider cave, and yeah, another uh, Falmer infested dungeon. It appears. Okay, so this looks like new treasure to find. So that's um, yeah, we'll have to try and look out for that. And that's one of the that's one of the way shrines, isn't it? That it mentioned that will be closed. Lots of uh, classic snow elf architecture. So yeah, this this actually should be a really interesting. So yeah, we'll um, I need to purchase this, so I'll do that now. And then yeah, we want to. Is that does that enable? Let's just check our load order. Yeah, that is now loaded in. So yeah, let's load up a save, and yeah, we'll get exploring. Right, so this current save that I'm in, we are, we're actually quite near Darkfall Cave, so I haven't actually been in Darkfall Cave on this, um, yeah, on this save. So yeah, as you can see, just to prove it, there is a, we don't have Castle, Castle Volkihar up here, which we would have been to, and I don't think, if we just go down to Riften, yeah, I haven't even been to Fort Dawnguard. On this save so yeah we will uh, yeah we'll do the very very short journey over to Darkfall Cave and then yeah we'll head inside so it does actually mention we you need to go th you only get to the entrance to this dark this new entrance uh, cave when you get to Gelibor so I'm going to assume we're going to have to go all the way through I think this is Darkfall Cave up here isn't it yeah here we are Lydia following me, yeah, Lydia. Right, come on. Just recharge my 
weapons. Yeah, when I um, I planned this week to do more, I'd probably do. Well, I had a, I had a couple of other things I was planning on doing, um, but yeah, when I saw these mods had been released, I thought, oh yeah, I need to actually get. I'll do those at some point. And then I saw this one was, uh, yeah, the, uh, the Forgotten Veil. So I kind of shelved other ideas and decided I had to. And, I had to do it this week. With it being, um, gosh, look all these spiders that have come down with us. It's like Lydia's taking care of them. Yeah, it's um, it's always been a favourite of mine since since uh, the Dawn Guard DLC came out. should be just around this corner I think there's the trolls and then we're into we're into the section where I think Gelibor is so this should be where the entrance way is located ah yeah here's the uh, the place where someone was camping out it's Breton woman And down here, just jump over that trip wire, should be where the the trolls are located. I've got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Lydia's tense. taken care of here we are I imagine Gelibor's not here because we've not um, initiated that quest yeah this is where Gelibor will be camping out so we should have oh, there's another troll there Get rid of you. Oh, we paralyzed him. Oh, we've got another one. Right, where is this cave entrance? Ah, here we are. So, yeah, just to the left is the... Uh, yeah, this entrance here. This must be it. Activate pull chain. Right, we are now in... Uncharted territory. Although this looks... Strangely familiar. Ah, this can't be right. Have I come through the wrong one? This is the way out. Just have a look around. That mustn't be it. Ah, no, here we are. <laughs> oh yeah. So I went that that one I went through is the one when you've uh, when you've completed this quest, you can just exit through there, and it's a little bit quicker the quicker getting you back. 
So yeah, so this is it, Darkfall Delve. Glowing mushrooms. Right, we have another pull chain, so this is the right one. Oh wow. So we've got some dead Falma. Oh, and some sort of boat. This is interesting. Falma Night Prowler. Sack with some random junk. What's that? Gold. Gold. Sapphire. Goblet. Some random bits. I'll drop the goblet that I just picked up. Another Falmer. What's this? Tripod, spider fish, and an elven dagger. And a fishing rod. Or someone was there. Uh, was someone preparing a catch here when they got attacked by Falmer potentially? What's up this way? Uh, don't think we can get up there. Sorry, Lydia. Right, do we need to ride this boat, I wonder? Open Dark Fall Delve. Right, where are we now? Definitely a uh, Falmer built this. Oh yeah, there's one there. Doesn't don't think he spotted me. No, we just missed his arm. There we go. Right, what have we got here? Just mushrooms. So as Falma was uh, preparing something. Oh, we've got another Falma. Preparing a uh, slaughter fish. What's that? Some sort of throne or something. Right, must be up through here. Open Dark Fall Delve. Gosh, look at this uh, ladder system that goes all the way up there. Right, here we are at the top. Gleam Blossom. I wonder where this is going to lead you out in the Forgotten Vale. Oh, so it actually brings you out the same location it looks like with a spiral rock face leading upwards. There you go, look at that. Such an impressive sight coming out into this. Alright, let's go have a look around. time is it half 10 in the morning so quite a bit of daylight 
ahead of us, which is good. So normally when you first come here, the first location you'll come to, oh, I can see some sort of Falmer cave over there in the distance it looks like, we'll go, we'll go look at that in a minute. Um, but the first place you normally come to is just up here because this is the location of one of the way shrines. Yeah, here. Prelate Athring. So you can't interact with him. So normally, yeah, this is this would be the first place you come. But it did say that these are all... Uh, yeah, locked. So I'm going to go investigate that Falmer that I saw skulking over here. And then, yeah, we'll head uh, west up there, which is how to get into, like, the open... Um, section of the Forgotten Vale. So here we've got a Falmer here. Right, what have we got here? Is this a location? Yes, it is Forgotten Vale Cave. I don't think this is a new one, but I'm going to go inside and check it out anyway. What have we got in here then? Oh, some chorus it looks like. That's a big one, chorus reaper. Lydia's gone straight in. Oh no. Chorus Hunters. those things another one oh we've fallen off sorry if this appears this is really a uh, this appears really dark when I upload it I do have my brightness on relatively high but this is uh, this cave system is really dark and even I'm struggling to see Shame I don't have the uh, candlelight spell. I think. Is this the only section in this cave? Or can we actually get through? I don't know if this is a. This just might be one of the random locations, just this sort of like Falmer, Falmer cave. It doesn't appear like there's any way. It looks there like there might be a way forward, but I don't actually know how to get to that. Through there. No, it's this sort of this way, isn't it? Yeah. There's definitely no way through there. Okay, yeah. First location, Falmer Cave. Cleared. <laughs> Let's see what's up here. 
Ah, oh, so there is a rope release. Oh, there we go. That's how we get forward. Right, what do we have now? Oh, I remember this. Yeah, this is a... This isn't a new location, this. This is one of the few locations where you can get a shell bug inside the... Yeah, Forgotten Veil. I think there's two. Um, there's one that's a bit further in, but yeah, this is the first one. Oh, so it's been a while since I've, I've uh, encountered this. When you mine them for shell for the shell bug armor, eventually you kill it, don't you? Which I'm not gonna do. Is this the end of this? Yeah, this is the end of this um, this little section. Yeah, I always found it really harsh in the um, when shell bugs were introduced. Uh, they're like these docile creatures that don't, yeah, they don't attack you. They don't really do anything. But yeah, when you mine them, you bet you essentially just pick their huh? pick their uh, armor off, and then they die. It's a <laughs> it's quite uh, quite brutal, really. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to keep my eyes out, uh, make sure I don't miss any other unmarked locations. But yeah, now I'm gonna, yeah, now let's head up, uh, head up this way, and yeah, we'll explore the inner, inner areas of the Vale. Anything up here? Oh, snow spinner cave. What's this? Oh, a saber cat. You have contracted Whitbane. Brilliant. Do I have a potion of cure disease? No, I have cure poison. And if I have any. Where is it? Hawk feathers? No, I don't have any hawk feathers either. Right, I'm going to have to try and cure myself. Dark Moor Passage. So we've got two more passages here. Like we potentially got multiple ways we can go here. So this way, troll skull. It's just a dead end. Places where you can mine. It looks like mine ebony. Nice, I like this. I like the sunlight coming through. I like the trees. So I don't think this is no, this is just a dead end, but it's there's lots of uh lots of ore, ore veins if you're if you like to mine your own ore. Is that Stalrim? No.
Looks like potentially we're going to encounter some more Falmer sometime soon. Wow. So we've come to a section now that opens up. I can hear chorus, it sounds like. Oh, it's there. A chorus Reaper. Yeah. A dead chorus Reaper. Two dead chorus reapers. Lots more ore veins. Right, where do we need to go? Is it down through the uh, the water? I wonder. It does look like there's a way, two ways actually, through this area. You should be able to go. Oh, so we've got a way here. Ah, yeah, this this looks like it might be the way to go. So let's just explore this room first. Where else is this to go? So it looks like there's a section up here as well. It's a dead end. Oh, we've got another shell bug. <laughs> is this is what we're going to do. We're just going to find lots of shell bugs in the uh, throughout the Forgotten Vale. So the only two ways to go now are down the water and then through here. So we'll try the... We'll go through here first. Imperial sword. Oh dear, what have we got here? Dead Imperial soldier. Again, I'm, assu I'm assuming this location is new. I mean, if it's not new, then I'm obviously not very observant because I don't think it's one that I've been in. I normally don't go up, go up that little... Um, way that I went so when I was going up towards where the, the, the frost spiders are I normally just carry on forward I just, for some reason I just decided to turn left 
Darkmoor Vale discovered. Oh, wow. Is this a whole new area? Gosh, look at this. It looks like we've got an, an old abandoned Imperial camp down here. This must be a new area then. I definitely do not recognise this. Gosh. Bedroll. I wonder who it was that was here. Or how long ago they were here. Got a message. Broken axe. Varus, tell Captain Velius to send more heads and halves in the next shipment. The timber in this valley is plentiful but tough. We're down to our last good axe. There is still no sign of private galleon. I'm suspending the search. We simply can't spare the men. If the cold doesn't get him, the cats will. They'd be doing us a favour. That damned Malingara has been nothing but trouble since the surgeon discharged him. Sergeant Aria. Broken iron war axe head. Yeah, so they were definitely doing some sort of mining here, some sort of, uh, yeah, uh, gathering of materials. Dark more deep. We'll explore that in a sec. We'll see what's around here. A woodcutter's axe. Oh, we've got a fishing spot. Friggin' Earth Mother. Should we do a spot of fishing? Just want to see what we can uh, get here. River Betty. So I actually haven't even started Angler acquaintances on this uh, on this save. Another River Betty. <laughs> right, I think we'll uh, we'll call it a day. <laughs> Two River Bettys. Not the uh, most exciting. Alright, looks like we've got another passageway to go here as well. Darkmoor Fisher. Saber car. Oh, I can hear someone talking in the distance. That looks like a death 
hound collar. Imperial Trapper. That's definitely a uh, vampire soaking. Oh, trip wire. Right, how do I get past this? This is quite steep. I don't know if I can jump over that. No. Not all that way. First kill is always the best. The blood has never tasted as sweet since. What's that? Now your blood is mine. <laughs> Private Gary and now we eat. He's been turned into a vampire. Guess we know what happened to him. Potion of blood, coin purse. Who's this going to be? An Imperial Trapper. Well, we know what happened to him. Let's continue on. Darkmore Vale. Huh? Where are we now? Ah, oh, we're up above. Oh. I've gone back outside. Uh, back inside, sorry. Must have, uh, yeah, backed up. Right, what have we got up here? Doesn't appear. It's just an overlook, isn't it? I don't think there's any particular way we can... Uh... Let's head down. Which way did I come through? I came through this, didn't I? So let's just have a look over here. This looks like another way shrine. Oh dear. Into the cave. What is that? Oh. Nice race. Dark more deep. Wow, look at that. I must say, so far, I'm really impressed with uh, 
these locations really well put together. Gosh, look at this. Some sort of like Falma. We've got Falma walking across there. Oh, I've just gone too early. Time now. Got him. Let's try and work out how to get down there. Assuming that entrance there is the other side. You know, when I was uh, when I was looking down into the water, saying, "Oh, I'll come back to this." That must be the other way of getting in here. I assume. Just have a look. What have we got here? Gosh, very old skeleton it looks like with Falma arrows in its back. I'm assuming we can't get up this way. Yeah, so you can probably get in here, get in that way, but not up it. Right, how do we get to that? down here Got a bad feeling about this. Right, let's go down to the water. So we've got another Falma. Another boat, although it doesn't look like this is one that we can ride. Oh gosh, you've got another way through there. These locations are enormous. It's over here. Whoa, it goes further down. Right. Let's try this cave first, and then I'll go down there. and blooms.
map doesn't give much away. Lydia, Lydia's coughing. I think she's uh, allergic to the poison blooms. Oh, chorus. Oh my gosh, this place is so big. I wonder if this counts as one location. It's massive. Everywhere I go, it's like there's like more than one way to go. Where's this one lead you? Dark Marvel. It's going to be near the overlook. Huh? Ah, yeah, so we're over the other side now. Assuming this is the valley down there, yeah, where the camp is. Let's go back through. And we'll go and take the passage to the right. Here. Oh, it's like another wow Imperial camp where they were mining. Well, were mining until they were either abandoned it or the farmer killed them all. I guess we've got our answer. Looks like the uh, Imperial soldiers. In fact, he's got a torch. That's a great idea. What did I think of that? Uh, all that time I've been going through there. Yeah, it looks like the uh, Imperials were slaughtered. Everywhere you go, the Imperials just... Uh, they don't do well... I think it was, someone mentioned it in one of the comments in one of my videos, I think it might have been an Archibus, uh, they said that whenever uh, the uh, the Imperials do any sort of excavation they all end up just absolutely massacred, the track record is absolutely abysmal when it comes to anything like this, pretty much guarantee everyone will just end up dead. Giants Club. I hope we managed to get that. Right, we've got Dark Mod Deep. And then do we have anything else down here? Oh wow. Well, I guess that's where they got the uh, uh the club from. Managed to capture a frost giant. You were friendly, uh, a friendly chorus. There was one that's not attacking, at least. I don't know if it's meant to be like, like that. Alright, let's go up here. Dark 
dark more deep. Oh wow, no, now we're at the top of the uh, mine shaft. I'm just going to unequip my torch so it doesn't, uh, I don't use it. Camp Resolve. Wow, so this must be, uh, oh, this has been taken over by the farmer as well. Yeah, this is the main camp. log we'll come back and read that uh, I need to charge my weapon up again right that's the Falmer cleared out so let's have a look around this camp Feral Falmer. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's got like a, almost like vampire wings sprouting out of its back. Oh, that is disgusting. Autopsy report. Bloody rags. This creature was captured by our scouts in the cave system. Though blind, it possesses extraordinary hearing and spatial awareness. It was extremely aggressive. Captain Velius and Private Galleon were badly bitten during the struggle to subdue it. I've transferred both to the infirmary. Unfortunately, the creature died almost immediately upon being removed from the cave. It seemed as if the very light of the sun was intolerable to it. Marcus Faleri, Imperial Surgeon, 15th Legion. So that explains why or how Private Galleon got bit, but yeah, we're yet to encounter Captain Velius, dead or alive, so. Assuming that's to come. Uh, yeah, I'm not a, not a fan of that. I'm assuming we're gonna encounter them at some point. Right, what have we got in here? Uh, I need to equip a torch again, don't I? It's better, I can see now. Right. Captain's log. 6th of mid-year. Curse these mountains. I warned General Tullius that this expedition was a mistake. Even the Reach men avoid these passes, and for good reason. Since the avalanche, we have been completely cut off from the rest of the Legion. At this rate, we'll be lucky to dig our way back to Je Johanna, let alone make it through to Skyrim at fighting strength. I've ordered the men to start clearing the debris. If Tullius wants to reinforce Marketh by last seed, he's going to have to try another route. 15th of Sun's High, another collapse. Sergeant Arya barely got the men out of the tunnel in time. 
clearly we are going to need much more wood for hoardings than I originally thought. Having, I've instructed the men to fortify the camp and start surveying the nearby caves. I fear that we may be stuck here for the long haul. 21st of Sun's High, our scouts report that there are other valleys beyond the caves, filled with timber and strange game. If we are to survive until the tunnel is finished, we will have to live off the land. In the meantime, I've taken to studying the stranger, ruin, the strange ruin at the centre of the camp. It looks elvish, but I've never read of alien ruins being found so far north. Could it be some sort of door or entrance? The ornate socket certainly seems like it is fitted for a welkin stone of some kind. At this point, nothing would surprise me. We are truly strangers in a strange land. 23rd of Frostfall. Despite the incessant wind and snow, our scouts have been able to keep us well supplied with food and fuel. The cave systems here are deep and intensive. We have yet to find their end. They are filled with exotic creatures like the likes of which I have never seen. Last night we caught one raiding our supply carts. After a fierce fight we were able to sub subdue it. It has a vicious bite. After he patched me up I instructed the surgeon and his aides to perform an autopsy of the beast. Maybe Marcus can figure out what it is and how best to kill it. First of Sun's Dusk. Nothing new to report today other than I am feeling terrible. A fierce storm has settled in, bringing with it a bitter cold that has slowed our progress and sapped the men's strength. Maybe it's the fever, but I have not been bothered by the chill. If anything, these storm clouds have given me a welcome reprieve from the blinding intensity of the alpine sun. I should see if the surgeon has any sun goggles when this blows over. Until then, I intend to remain at camp studying the ruin. Sometimes, in the depths of night, I swear I can hear whispers from within. 15th of Sun's Dusk. The blizzard keeps getting worse. If it doesn't end soon, we are going to have to abandon Camp Resolve. I've ordered the men to seek shelter in the caves. We've had no word from the scouts in the valley. They will just have to wait until the storm on their own. Without their wood shipments, it will only be a matter of time before our fuel runs out and the men freeze to death in their tents. I'm going to make one last attempt to open the ruin before we are forced to leave. Perhaps it will be the key to our salvation. At least, that's what, they, that's what the voices say. Wow. Yeah, they've really added a lot of uh, lore into this, haven't they? So yeah, it seems like this Imperial camp... Oh. that Was that open before? I didn't... I don't remember seeing that. Um, yeah, so it looks like they probably came at the request of General Tullius over the mountains uh, to this place. And then... For, then as they ventured deeper inside, found the Forgotten Veil. But yeah, this, uh, yeah, camp, uh, what's it called? Fr frontier, not Frontier. Fort Resolve. the feral vampire gosh should we go in there so we've got another two ways to go we've got the uh, the passageway through the way shrine and we've got the escape tunnel yeah, I'm gonna just unequipped angler acquaintances yeah we'll, we'll go in here no doubt we're gonna get attacked by feral vampires but Uh, not feral vampires, feral. What was that? Oh, who's this? I Captain Velius. Also, oh, he's a vampire as well. There we go. Coupe de Grace deals twenty-five percent extra damage to Falma. We found a new unique weapon. Nice. Gosh, look at him. Ugly. I'm 
more bloody rags. Potion of blood. Okay, so... So is this the escape tunnel that they were digging to try and get out? Uh, but it kept, uh, yeah, caving in. Okay, so at least well, we've we've uh, we've closed that uh, story loop. We know what happened to Captain Vel Velius now, along with the private. Yeah, I thought we were going to encounter Feral Falmer in there, but yeah, thankfully we uh, <laughs> we d we didn't. Right, I guess we'll go through this uh, way shrine. There's still another passageway down in the uh, the depths that I didn't uh, go through. Right, what is this? Darkmoor River. This is another one of the uh, the Falma caves. I think I recognise this one from the uh, the stills. It does look familiar. I think it was one of the last pictures. Oh, there's a feral vampire. Well, I think there's another one down there. I can see it. I keep calling them feral vampires. Uh, feral Falma. Gosh, they are. They're or they're awful. Scrawled message. Captain Velius, we are trapped. These foul creatures are beyond number and are closing in fast. You must seal the portal now before the camp is overrun. It's too late for us. Save all that you can. Gosh. What a horrible end. It's no, uh, no easy gig. Um, signing up for the Imperial Army, is it? Gosh, look at all these bones. I wonder whether the feral Falma attack the ordinary Falma. I'm assuming, I'm assuming they probably would do. What's this they've uh, killed? Some sort of giant crab. Full of Falma arrows. Got a few more uh, Falma over there it looks like. God, look at those! Look at that face. Not a face you'd want to wait to wake up to.
Uh, is this a dead end? Oh, no, we're being dragged down. I had to go and look, didn't I? Being taken on a uh, journey through a cave system here. Where, we, where it's going to bring us out. Oh wow. Has that brought us right back to the start? Gosh, it has done. Okay. Well, if you ever want to get out of there quickly, that's the way you need to go. Um, what I'm going to do is... I don't want to go all the way back through there. So I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to, auto, I'm going to load the autosave when we go into Dartmoor River. Because... Yeah, I don't have to walk all the way back around. Uh, so, what I'm going to do... I just, there's just one side of in here that I want to explore. Let's get rid of this one here that comes up to look at you. Somehow missed last time. I just wanted to see if there's anything over this side. And then I'll, uh, we'll go out. Looks like more poison blooms. Now I think I think the only way out is uh, yeah, you either go back on yourself or you go through that waterfall and it'll take you all the way back to the start. It does look like there's something up there. I wonder how you get up there. Yeah, some sort of structure at the top, isn't there? Keep missing. There we go. Got them. Right. Yeah, I want to know how you get up to that section there. Try not to fall in the water this time. I think I've found it. Ooh. More feral. chest with a couple of potions. Oh no. Where did they come from? They come out of that house. I 
I'm glad I can one shot these things in sneak mode. What difficulty I'm playing on actually. Oh yeah, legendary. Yeah, this is quite a high level save I'm playing on. I must have crawled out of this. Right, let's get out of here. This place gives me the creeps. I don't know where Lydia is actually. I seem to have lost her. Maybe the feral vampires got her. I keep calling them feral, feral vampires. Feral, uh, I suppose they are vampires, aren't they? Feral Falmer. Yeah, I do not know where Lydia's gone. Right, so camp resolve. Explored. There's Lydia. What have you been doing, honestly? Oh, where are you going? I'm right behind you. All right, come Let's on, come with me. Then. Yeah. Honestly, slacking. Right, so there was one other uh, section of this area that I wanted to explore, and then I think we can probably go back out into the uh, yeah, Forgotten Vale. I uh, <laughs> did not ex expect this this location to be as large as it is. So the way I want to go is, I think it's that side, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it's down there. I think that's the, oh, we've got a fish here, it looks like, in the water. Vampire fish. Yeah, it looks like there's a tripwire there. Lydia's definitely going to run through that. Yep, yeah, there you go. On cue. Well done, club foot. This is another section here with more Falmer. Ah, oh, this was one of the stills as well. We've somehow got these like glowing rocks in nets. Need to be careful I don't loot your use all my arrows because I didn't actually bring anything else with me 
Well, I could pick up the steel ones, I guess, from the uh, Imperial soldiers. Ooh, what have we got down there? I don't think I want to go down there. Oh, nice. Imperial soldier. Yeah, let's grab some of these steel arrows just in case. Yeah, that looks a uh, pretty big hole. Can't even see where it goes to. It's blackness. Falmer. Go on, Lydia. Get him. How, how are they not seeing me? Oh, another Falmer. Poison. Huh? All right, how do you get up there? Or can you even get up there? Don't know if you can actually. Heads of Imperials. Nice. So this may be the end of the line. Unless you're supposed to go down there, which I'm not sure I want to, to be honest. Gosh, look at all the Imperial helmets and stuff that they've got. It really did not end well for these men. All the all the swords and everything, shields. I think they like chuck them into this mine or well, whatever it is. Should I save my game and go down? We'll save here. Oh, oh, so this goes back down into, oh gosh. So anyone that fell in here just ended up in this vampire infested section. Lovely. Right, load, uh, load that up. Right, I guess we've explored this area. We'll make for the exit. Right, what's the way... Can't even remember what the way out of here is. I think it was it up here. Let's just 
have a look at the map. Dartmoor River, or Dartmoor Vale, I think it's this way, isn't it? The way I was going. Outside, what time is it? <laughs> Three in the morning. Wow. Long time on uh, this location. Really impressive, though. I love all the law behind it. Dartmoor Passage. head outside and I think there was another cave system wasn't there right next to this one so I'll have a look through that and then we will finally go in, into the uh, yeah into the middle still not find this uh, the home yet I think, yeah, we're nearly there now. Right, here we are, back, <laughs> back out into the Forgotten Vale. So yeah, Darkmoor Passage, wow. That is, uh, yeah, impressively extensive. Then we have another area here, Snow Spinner Cave, which sounds a bit like it might be a spider cave, so let's have a look. Where's this lead? We'll go down there later. I don't want to end up in some sort of cave system I can't get out of. Oh, that didn't sound... Uh, Good, that sounded like a spider eggs hatching or something. We get through there now. Does the map say to go forward? It doesn't really say, does it? I think we're meant to be... Ah, oh, there are the spiders. I think we're meant to be on the other side. Corpse, nice. Which way up should we go? Ooh. like weird sort of crab things can't interact with it though Are we supposed to go through there or I don't think we can get in can we no So is this just a dead end? Is this just, yeah, just a shortest cave system it looks like? I 
doesn't appear to be anywhere else we can go in here so I will go down I'll go see where that cave uh, the waterfall leads Uh, oh nowhere, uh, no. So that is a, that is just a dead end. Right there we go, snow spinner cave. A lot short, <laughs> definitely a lot shorter than the last one. Oh. Right, it is yeah nearly daybreak now, so we'll uh. Let's get it into the into the actual middle section of the Forgotten Vale. It's a shame I don't have the um, clear skies shout on this save because this area, when you get through here, is really impressive when the weather's good. I love coming out and looking into this this sort of open section. With the frozen lake just up there. Like that. Yes, Lydia. Impressive, isn't it? Right, I wonder what other locations we're going to have here. first of the unknown books that isn't a new thing by the way they are uh, ancient farmer tomes are already there I wonder if you face the two dragons up there that you that you have to fight Just down here is normally one of the giants, yeah, that has the paragon. I don't know if you'll be able to do you use the paragons or not. With um unless you actually start the campaign. Just uh, we'll take the we'll take the the paragon off him anyway. We'll see if we can open the door. Amethyst Paragon. So the door is just up here with another one of the giants actually. Yeah, but yeah, we definitely won't be able to get all the paragons because one of the uh, the one of the last paragons you cannot get until you go into the inner sanctum. It's very easy to miss. So this is where the door is, and then this is the other giant, one of the other giants. Sapphire Paragon. Right, let's have a look. Can we still interact with the door? Yes, yeah, so that still works, it appears.
this one doesn't really lead you to anywhere other than this uh yeah overlook This one does actually port you into the inner sanctum, but you're in a you're in a room that you can't get out of. But there is a lot of uh, a lot of stuff in this room. Take all these for selling later. I'm not really interested in the elven gear, but. Take all the gems. Oh, we'll have them arrows actually. Elven sword of Enervating. It's one the diamond. There we go. We're rich, Lydia. Right, here we are. Sun's coming out now. Now we can go properly explore and appreciate the beauty of this uh, location. Look at that. I think that's the right up in the distance there. I don't know if you make it out. I think that might be the temple. So I think you can keep going up here, but I'm going to go down and go round. See if there's any other new locations that we've not uh, that we've missed. I definitely heard some sort of Falmer then, or chorus even. Oh, is it adding another another fishing location it looks like? Go on while we're here. May as well see what see what we can get. Arctic Grayling, there we go, that's a little bit better. Is that another location through there? Looks like there's something behind that waterfall. while having a look though. Let's try over here. Yeah, I only I wish that they would um they'd put map markers in. That might have been a bit easier to spot things. I feel like it's very, very easy to miss. Like I'd have completely missed that cave system back that we went through earlier if I just decided not to turn left. Here's another way shrine. Prelate Selegriath or Calegriath. Alright, what have we got here? This looks new. Ruined passage. Oh wow. 
Wow. Oh, so we finally we've uh, seen some snow elf architecture finally. Uh, I don't think we can go up here. No, it's just uh, uh, sunlight coming in. Skeleton. Oh, more Falmer, brilliant. That's the one. Uh, the one um, drawback of this area is the Falmer. There's so many of them. Like when you come here as part of the main campaign, the further in you get, it is just infested. How do you get through there? Looks like there's some goodies in there. Some sort of lever I need to pull maybe. I'll open it up. Managed to lose Lydia again. Ruined cold error. Ah, there she is. Oh, wow. Oh, so this was one of the locations that was on the uh, stills as well. I've never seen anything quite like that. No, it's impressive, isn't it, Lydia? Right, come on, let's uh, take out these Falma. I still need a potion of cure disease, don't I? Because I think I've still got, yeah, Whitbane. Thankfully, we're not a, a mage, so it's not a. Not an ail ailment that particularly affects us that much. Ooh, he uh, he hits hard. Ah, there's a, uh, an old giant uh, ballista here. Snow Elf Architects is really impressive, isn't it? Gosh, these must be ancient, these uh, soldiers. Hall of the Curates. Look at this. Is this a shrine to Oriel? Yeah. There we go. Disease is cured. Blessing of Oriel added. 
which is what is the black book blessing of Oriel actually? Ten percent more effective with missile weapons. Wow, look at that. Burnt corpse carrying an elven dagger. Can we climb up here, I wonder? we get out or not? Probably not meant to get out, are you? No. Hello there. Yeah, what an impressive, uh, impressive sight that is. Wisp here. <laughs> Gosh, look at this, like. Long tape, lot of dining area. I wonder who sat at this throne. Ah, so this is the section that has the the wisp mothers. Looks like we've awoken them. An impressive fire. Near the shrine here. Yeah. Alright, looks like this is must be where the Falmer broke in. Right, let's go investigate Lydia. Falmer holes. Oh. Ah, oh, there you are. Wonder when you were coming out. Now we can level up. I'm going to 
Let's go more one-handed damage. Right, is there anywhere else in here we can go? Not the way I just came, yeah. Ah, oh, so this is just a dead end with another... Where was that second passageway? Oh yeah. So I came through that one, didn't I? Yes, this must be another one. Looks like it just leads back to the... Uh, this room, though. Ah, oh, yeah. I'm just going to save my game again. Right, let's, uh, which way do we need to go, actually? Is this the bridge? Is that what we were looking down on for up there, across onto this bridge? I think it was. Right, what's this one? Ruined Passage. Falmer. to get up here see over don't think we can it's not letting, not letting me through there guess we have to go around Oh, this is that's the uh, what I was looking at, wasn't it? When I couldn't get through, and here is the pull chain. Yes, yeah, so it was just this chest that I was looking through at. Oh, which is the way out? Forgotten veil. through here. Yeah, this is it. So 
There we go, another of the new locations. The ruined passage. We left Lydia inside. Yeah, Lydia's uh, staying where she is. Right, let's carry on forward. anything this way. That just leads lead you back to the start, doesn't it? Then you can go down there. So we'll go up onto the uh, yeah frozen lake. Normally at this point you get attacked by not one but two dragons so I'm wondering if that's still going to be the same. It's over here. Anything new? Doesn't look like it. Oh, can you get in the water here? Oh yeah. I don't really want to be dragged under, so we won't do that. Oh yeah, here we go. Two dragons. I'm gonna use some of my other arrows actually. Save my uh, dragon bone ones. This is normally where I would use the uh, dragon rend, but I don't have it yet, so we have to wait till they land. It's a bit of a problem.
Right, let's explore the lake, see if they've added any new locations around here. There's anything around here, around the outside at least. Yeah, I think that there is the temple where you fight Vertha. Here's the next of the way shrines. Prelate Nirilor. And yeah, this is the start of where you get the there's a lot of Falma. I'm surprised we've not I've not found the uh, the home yet, unless I've missed it. Just search around this way, and then we'll go we'll go further in. Here, actually, I need to go. Oh, what's this? Oh, we found some my new ice crag causeway. Ah, this is a giant's cave. This is another one of the images from the stills. Oh, there's Lydia. What are you doing in here? It's like another pretty short, short location. This. I don't mind that though. It's not everything's going to be uh, the size of that. Uh, the first, one of the first caves you went through. Where are we now? On some sort of overlook. Yeah, that's where the, one of the giant things is down there, isn't it?
Right, let's... Um, I think this just leads you back to... Yeah, the sort of back loops back on itself. So let's go deeper in past the Falmer. We got here ice notch cave assuming this is a new uh, addition as well I think, yeah, that's just a dead end. So you can't go up, but it does look like you can go through past this giant chorus thing. <laughs> gate closed it's like the giant one you, you face at the light frost for a lighthouse Got it. Right, what is in here? Ooh. Look at the size of this spear. Can I pick that up? No. Some sort of like halberd or something.
Right, we'll keep pushing forward. Hopefully, eventually, we find where this uh, the new home is. Let uh, Lydia take care of the uh, the archers. Sharp Slope Cave isn't a new location. I'm sure of it. That is a. Uh, I think I've definitely been in that one before. Just up here, there is another of the giants. So we'll take his uh, paragon and then carry on. I think we have to go this way. I always get confused at this section. I think in the Let's Play series that I did, I ended up having to. Um, in the in my Let's Play, the only magic I'm using is uh, restoration. But I ended up having to use uh, is it clairvoyance because I just I got so lost. I had no idea where I was going. I think it's straightforward now, and then this goes through another cave system. What time is it now? 6.30 p.m. Explains why it's going dark. God, we've spent like two, nearly two, well, one and a half days now exploring the uh, Forgotten Vale. Go through here. Glacial crevice. Wonder how far into this we can get actually before we it stops. I'm assuming it's gonna it's right up to the temple.
uh, the, these areas like this which are in the game already I'm not kind of hanging around it's only the new areas that I'm being a bit more careful with and making sure I explore everything just in case you're wondering why I'm it probably looks like I'm trying to get through it quickly I don't want to spend loads and loads of time on the, the stuff that's not new Lydia, keep up. I think we're near the end now of this section. Just clear these last few Falmer. Thankfully these are just weak ones. Well those two were, this guy looks like he's a bit meaner. back in the Forgotten Vale. So, just up here is the four, is the fourth of five Paragons. I think this is the got a bad about diamond this. one, I think. I think it's up here anyway. So we'll get that just while we're here. Diamond Paragon. You know you've been playing this game too long where you can even uh, 
not only know where the pyro guns are, but you can name which one, <laughs> where each one is, which one it is. Let's just carry on forward through this next little farmer section. Weird how a lot of these Falmer are, are like the basic ones. A lot of the early ones we face seem to be really quite strong. Unless it's because these are base game uh, ones that are not that have not been created by the modder, which would make sense. box we've uh, we've missed a couple right Lydia I think it's back here we need to go and there is a passageway that leads upwards somewhere this is the pl this is where I always get lost oh don't mean to fall down then way is it or do we have to go through no it's not through here I'm pretty sure do you get up there? <laughs> Maybe actually we need to go down and through. Oh no, that is a dead end, yeah. through here one more time. I'm pretty sure it isn't that through here, but I could be wrong. It's 
down here. Ah, yeah, here we go. So I was wrong. You have to go through all the way through the base. the last word of the uh, initiates you is that you've got to fill up prelate Ed Hellbar. Ooh, where do you come from? And then this is the yeah the inner sanctum, which we're not going to be able to get in. So. See what's up here. I think it'll just be a dead end because you can't actually go any further than this now. Yeah, this is the uh, this is where the, you were. Uh, our journey ends, I should say. What's up here? Over here. An elven great sword. All right, let's head back across. Just climb this, uh, yeah, Falma structure and see what's at the top. Wow, <laughs> a lot of potions in here. Is this the dead? Is this a dead end now? Yeah, right. So what I'm gonna do is let's head back to the Forgotten Vale entrance, um, and yeah, I want to try and find where this home is supposedly situated because we've definitely we must have missed it or walked past it. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till it's morning actually. It's much easier travelling by day. It's not like somewhere up there on it, is it? Somewhere really like blindingly obvious. Oh. I think that is just a frost troll up there.
Right, oh, there's a cave behind the first, yeah, portal, which I don't think I've been through. Frozen Passage. I missed this the first time. Right. Ooh, who's this? Imperial Battle Mage. Azia Tra Trajiza Azia Trajizazeri. That's a book I don't recognise. This is an absurd book, but like all things Khajiit, it, as the expression goes, so blah blah blah, <laughs> or absurdity has become necessity. Uh, this looks like a lot of nonsense. What's this? Battle Mage's Journal. At last, a breakthrough. This script is Ailey Dune or Aldmer, but Falmer isn't Ailey, Ailey Dune or Aldmer, but Falmer. Now we finally know who built these ruins, though their purpose remains as perplexing as ever. The tablet reads. Translated to the best of my abilities, it reads, Only the feet of the ascended pilgrims, now one with Ori L, may tre tread these halls at journey's end, to find relief at the initiate's rest in the glade beyond. Though the path ahead is rocky, each stone is but a pebble, next to the mountain of trials met and overcome on the road to enlightenment. I have no idea what trials this tablet is referring to, nor what constitutes an ascended pilgrim. I should return to camp immediately and report my findings to Captain Vel Velius. Hopefully he can make sense of all this. If the tablet is to be believed, there may be a way out of this wretched valley after all. Yeah, they were, they were slowly working it out, weren't they, the Imperials, this place, before they all got massacred. Right, what is through here? More Falmer. Lovely. Oh, Lydia's, uh, Lydia's fighting them. It's an impressive location. It's like a uh, yeah, really misty. Gosh, look at these giant mushrooms. This they, those mushrooms more resemble what you find on Solstheim. Deer attacking a frostbite spider here.
It's like a dead end. Yep. Where do you come from? Gosh, these, uh, this is another location that looks uh, yeah, impressively large. Looks like we're finally going to uh, head outside again. Frozen Glade. Frozen Glade discovered. Looks like we've got another one of them tablets that that uh, battle mage was translating. Saber cat there. What's through here? Initiates rest. Ah, we finally found it. Gosh, it is really remote, isn't it? Really remote. What's this? Another. In the glade. Oh, we've got another frozen crypts. Right, I'll tell you what, let's go look at the home and then we'll come here. Initiates rest. Oh, at least this is a mark. This is a a marked location, so you should be able to fast travel to it if you're not playing survival mode. Beautiful location again. It's here. Ah, destroyed. Initiates rest discovered. This looks like a good place to set up camp. Okay. What do we need? Clear rubble, pack, rubble pile. Oh, so you make it. Do the same here. Clear rubble pile. There we go. So this is the uh, yeah the new resting place with all the amenities. So yeah, we've got a your alchemy lab, bedroll, a place to improve your weapons and storage, workbench to improve your armor, tanning rack. Yeah. Enchanting station. 
uh, cooking pot and uh, seating area and then yeah another bedroll complete with storage space and yeah this nice little yeah table and setup here so yeah it's a really pretty location isn't it really nice I must say it is quite remote though so I wonder if from this map yeah you can you can fast travel to all these areas so actually if you wanted to stay it's not it's not that remote but it's not I can't say it's something you'd be using as a regular resting place I wonder if you can transport oh yeah so you could actually fast travel because that's one thing you couldn't do before I don't think you couldn't fast travel from Skyrim to here could you was it was that blocks or am I imagining that Um, but they, but there, yeah, Initi initiates rest. Nice. Right, I'm gonna save here, and then we'll go and explore. Was it the frozen crypt? And then that'll probably be it, to be honest. I think I'll stop the video there. Um, there may be more to discover, but I don't know how long I've been filming. Actually, it's probably been quite a while. Right, so the frozen crypt is there, isn't it? Let's just see what's over here. Oh, hello, nice ray. Why do you always come in pairs? Oh, we've got another door over here as well. What's this? Frozen tomb. Phantom Elf. Search Snow Elf Coffin. Nothing like Grave Robin, eh? <laughs> oh, we've got another Wisp Mother. Elven Braces of Deft Hands. Oh, it's just an impressive uh, burial chamber. that this location done yeah right that's the frozen tomb let's go look at the frozen crypt looks like there's another area up there unless that's just gleam blossom that's gl glistening Maybe got more ghosts. Who are you? I'm not gonna find out, I shoot you. <laughs> I sense a presence. A 
this area looks a little bit less impressive than the last one. The last one maybe where like the lords and ladies went and then this is just like your standard like the uh, the rabble. <laughs> All the coffins in one room rather than having their own separate chambers. Falma, I'm guessing. Oh no, we've got a Wisp Mother, another one. Got her. we got here? Initiate Stride. When wearing the complete set of Initiate's raiment plus 50 stamina. Okay, that's interesting. That's really interesting. I wonder if there's more light pieces. We've only just found the first one. Or one of them. Get through here. No. It did say that there was new new additions of stuff and I've only found so far I think I found one sword the imperial sword that I found right at the start and then I've also found the those boots so embalmed elf Elven Warhammer. Right, I think um, I'm going to stop this video here, guys. I think we've found I found most of the major things, at least the things I was looking for. There's probably some areas I've not discovered yet, and there's potentially more unique pieces like this and these. So I will, yeah, continue to look for these at another time. But yeah, I hope this um, review of this mod has given you enough insight into it as to whether you want to get it or not. Um, 800 credits obviously translates to about eight pounds eight dollars but i think considering the, what you get for it I'd, I'd probably say that it's it's not bad value to be honest um anything that adds i mean this location for me i was sold anyway because it's such a good location but a lot of the um that the first location we went through where you sort of slowly piece together the imperial excavation that was happening and how they kind of everything kind of fell apart for them I was really impressed with that. Even that as a standalone location would have been great um, because a, a lot of the lore that they added in was really good. So yeah, um, the fact that there's like, was it over 20 different locations to, to, to um, yeah, obviously to play through in this is, I think it is good value. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, I will do another one on Morthal um, when I can get around to it. So yeah, yeah, look out for that as well. So yeah, I am Mike the Gaming Dad and I will see you next time.